now scene five. Rhea enters from the back as Jana is hanging up the phone. Ray is dressed up very pretty and made up even though she's only going to play racquetball with Ty. Who was that on the phone, Mom? Wasn't for you. I was talking to Casey's mom. She is absolutely incensed because Ken is hanging around out there even though he's not supposed to be staying in the handicap center. I thought he and Casey were going to go to the family center, she yelled her. Oh, there was no openings. Casey had to go to the women's and children's, and Ken couldn't get back in the men's because he didn't look for a job the last time he stayed there. Well, better her, her mom's place than ours. Mom, why don't you just forget about their problems for a while? Let's take a break. Oh, look, Raya, I'm sorry, but Casey and the baby might need to come back here. We can't let a little baby go out in the street. Okay, okay, but Mom, I'm expecting a call from Ty, so I hope you don't tie up the phone. He might want to call me before he comes to pick me up for racquetball. Ty's coming here? Oh, I hate anyone to see this house. Oh, this carpet is so bad, and that couch is not fit for humanity. But there's only so many things you can buy when you are living on $228 a month welfare. You think Ty isn't poor? His mom is eight months behind on her house payment. Ty can accept anybody's lifestyle, Mom. He's too adaptable knocks on the door and Rhea hides her book under the couch pillows, pats her hair and runs to the door. Hi, Mom! How you doing? How about a hug? Oh, missed you, Ty. You and Rhea have been so busy trying to graduate. I did see your picture in the yearbook all 18 times. <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh, you loved it. And you didn't love yours in there, princess? I believe 15 times. She was just the student body president, the valedictorian, the most likely to succeed, the most brainy, and et cetera, et cetera. Well, she's been an unbelievable success so far, and I hope she, I can hardly wait till she gets to the university. Are you still going out of town to a, to a college? Oh yeah, I've been planning to get away from this heat for years. I wish he'd go to the university with me, but everybody wants to go to someplace different for college, it seems. <sighs> How's your mom, Ty? Ah, oh, she's sad about the house. It's going into foreclosure. That house has been a great meeting for the gang, but she, she wouldn't enjoy it with you gone. <coughs> Ready to go? Raya picks up the romance book, looks at it. Harlequin, is this your book, Raya? I tell her for a brilliant girl, she sure got some taste in books. I only read those for relaxation. <laughs> she, she gets all those ideas about uh -huh. romance from that these books. Up. Then she expects life to be a romance. Ty says, I never read a romance novel. Don't push this of course one. you have. So you have no idea how you're supposed to behave. You got this. Right? I have not pleased any of my girlfriends. Well, you no more attract one than you act like you're looking around for another one. I'm too young to settle down. Well, so am I, but I'm not fickle. She talks in riddles. Women, women confuse me. Oh, I'm very glad, glad that you've come through high school so sensibly. Give me some credit for brains, Mom. Well, I'd be more impressed if you didn't read Harlequin. Ah, oh, graduation is sad time. Nothing is ever going to be the same. Tonight we're all going to get drunk and cry our eyes out. Don't tell Mom we're going to get drunk. She's so alarmed. She won't sleep all night. Maybe not even until after graduation. 
Oh, cheer up, Mom. Your brilliant daughter has a great future ahead of her. She'll never jeopardize that. Come on, let's go, Ray. The lights flicker down, indicating passage of time. They kiss goodnight, and he leaves. Oh, and they leave, and then the lights flicker back up, and Ty brings Raya to the door. They kiss goodnight, just as Je Je Jenna, Je Jenna comes out into the living room, and she's dressed in layers of clothing and a snood that covers most of her face. Say what? Uh, a snood. And Raya says, Mom, after Ty leaves, Mom, don't ever come out in the living room in that sleeping garb. What is that you've got in your head? A snood. That would even scare Ty away. Scares me thinking about it. You know I have to wear this for my inflammation. Did you have a good time? Well, Ty rushed me home. He said he didn't realize you were so worried about my virginity. <clears throat> well, I think you've been spending quite a lot of nights over there at a Ty's, and oh, I know some of the gang usually stays with you, but we don't have a car, so I can pick you up. But human beings can only spend so much time together without something happening. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that there's the risk, you know. Uh, don't you think I know the risk, Mom? I wish you would act like a little grizzly bear whenever I, I try to talk about this. I, I can't help but be a little concerned. You're only 18. So, may we please go to bed now? Well, yes.